Alright, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Randomized Nuzlocke, where sometimes we open the show with just a little bit of differentness. So here we go, as promised, between episodes went ahead and got everybody to level 30, it was fun, it was good, to had some close calls, but uh, nothing bad happened, thankfully. And so we got Mr. 31, uh, definitely got Aqua Tail. We'll just go through and show the what, what's happened. So we got Aqua Tail. We got rid of Captivate for it because, well, <laughs> you know. Uh, we had to get rid of something and it couldn't have been Strength or Cut and we didn't want to get rid of our cover. We can always go ahead and unlearn these moves and help them relearn stuff a little bit later. As soon as we start finding a place that has, like, love discs on, on the regulars, we're gonna just, just going to start bopping them. Like... Because we, we can catch them to take their items, but we can't catch them to use them, so. That's, that's just my rule, anyway. Let's see, did we get anything from Mer Person? I don't think we got anything from Mer Person. No, we got Water Gun, Aurora Beam, yeah, Body Slam, yep. I think Houseplant learned something new. So we can go through that. Oh, yes, we got Petal Dance, Giga Drain. We got Petal Dance, that's the, that's the move we learned. The user attacks the target by scattering petals for two to three turns. It's an Uber Bopper. Look at that, it's 120 for 100. That thing with stab does like 180 it's crazy it's super strong <clears throat> it's ridiculous Let's see there we go and we also have uh we got zen headbutt too on our wonderful wonderful pam so her attack is like 60 which is really good i mean it's better than her special attack so it's super good might also make the target flinch we didn't get anything for uh madam because madam hasn't really been in the action lately because she was our like our first one first bopper we got dragon breath now instead of uh dragon rage so instead of doing 40 damage we got a 60 stab move so you know the better option there because you never want to go with just a base 40 for too long base 40 is good for a while but not for where we're going we don't need base 40 so as promised we're gonna go in here into the old nimbasa city gym and we're gonna go around and we're gonna see what kind of turd fergusons we can fight and see how we can swap this all around. Hey, kid. Want to fight? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which Pokemon should we have out here? Uh, let's... Let's give Pam some love. We don't really have Pam out on the front too much. Let's, let's give some Pam some love. Hey, kid. What's up? What is that? Ellis is really amazing. Usually, you just remodel the gym, but she built a completely new one. Ellis is really amazing. Ellis is a really good girl. She's cool. And now your roller coaster path has changed. Dick, come back here. Don't leave me. Don't you leave me. I need that cart. I needed to get in the roller coaster. And you left me. Why would you do this? Hey, fight me. Faster, faster. Your speed boost makes you feel great. I mean, I guess, but like. Usagi pressed the switch. Usagi pressed her Nintendo Switch. Where's the cart, man? Hey, there it is. Come here. Oh my god, there was man in capsule. Hey there, are you cool riding a roller coaster? I'm going to overwhelm you with the speed I learned riding the roller coaster. Who is you? Probably like schoolgirl Amy. Challenged by Oh, Leader Forest. <gasps> Leader Forest. Sent out the pine. He mocks us with a Tina? Sir, you dare mock us with a Tina? Oh shit, this thing might have self-destruct. Oh, for the love of God, no! Body slam. We gotta try and paralyze it. Oh good, it used takedown. Woo! That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. We're we're kosh. We're good. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, bide? Yeah, guess what? Too bad nothing's gonna happen. But bam! Body slam! Get bopped! Out of town, son! You pine co. You're, you're Tina, which is an insult to me. Rolling, 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 rolling. Ha! Keep rolling. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Why are you singing lyrics to me, sir? Your way of battling. It's elegant. You've got style. Oh, I, thought was, I thought he was gonna say, here, take this moonstone. And I would have been like, all is forgiven, my child. You have gifted me a moonstone. All is forgiven, my child. That's that's how it would be. Whee! 
I did the zoomy. And then we hit this one and we make the switch go brown. There's probably gonna be a guy in this one too. A lady! Lady, why would you do this? Your roller coaster ride is finally nearing its finale. Uh, ma'am. I don't think you understand. I'm also a Pokemon trainer who is toughened up by Miss Alessa. Alessa. Because I guess it's like electric and Essa? Alessa? I won't give up easily. Uh, well, too bad. I'm gonna bop you. Leader Carol. Challenged by Swimmer Crystal. Oh no, I was so far off. <laughs> Sent out Finian. Oh, y'all, you gonna get bopped. You gonna get bopped. I'm pretty sure I've fun facted this before, but when I was playing through Pokemon uh, Pearl for like the first time, since I played a Pokemon game in like a really long time, uh, Finian and Luminian were like the two Pokemon that I didn't catch. Like they were the last ones I needed to see or even catch for the Pokedex. And they were the ones that I'm like, where are they? Who, like, what Pokemon is this? Eh. And then I looked it up and it turns out they were only on this one route and they were like everywhere in the water and I just happened to not see them. So. What? My victory was taken away from me. Usagi got $3,800. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, girl. What's up? It pleases me to be the opponent of a strong and honorable trainer like you. Nice. But hold on. What do we have? What is Pam holding? Pam, what are you hold? The Razor Claw, right. The Razor Claw. I was gonna say, we can give her like the amulet coin, but money's not really a thing we need right now. We're not needing to catch a bunch of stuff, so we won't need tons of balls. Whoa, the loop, de loop, and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. Let's see here now. Why is there just glitter stuck in the air like that? Who's. Did somebody lose their glitter? Hey! 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 Did somebody lose their glitter? <laughs> glitter sucks, y'all. It gets everywhere. It's worse than sand. Who is this madam? Sh should we pull out... Speaking of madam, should we pull out a madam for this? Let's pull out a madam for this. Pam Pam did a good job. Can we milk drink? Oh, it can't be used on that Pokemon. Alright. I was just thinking, can we milk drink, madam? Oh my, did you come here looking for the gym leader? I'm sorry, you just missed her. She just left for the gym. Take this for making it all the way here. Uh, okay. Paralyze heal, that's cheap. So I hear the gym leader likes the thrill of this roller coaster. Alright, cool, but you're still cheap for giving me a paralyze heal. Wait, do you want to fight? Can I fight you? Fight me. And yeah, no. Is there like an, a secret item here? Actually, I didn't want this. I didn't want this menu at all. I wanted this menu, okay? I wanted Dowsing Machine. Is there anything in here at all? Because, I mean, if I just came here for, like, three Pokemon fights, I'm gonna be... sad, I guess? Well, I guess we're sad. So I guess it's Bicycle time? And with that, we're gonna go ahead and find the new gym. Which, is this a new gym? Yeah, okay, this is the new gym. The Shining Beauty of Elessa. Alright, well, let's go heal up our Mons in the traditional way of free and go to the Pokemon Center and then have the beautiful lady behind the counter heal our Pokemons. And through that, we'll go actually start fighting the gym. Let's see, the gym would be electric in the regular game, but it's not. So wonder what we're going to fight in there. I'm probably going to guess something that's going to bop a lot of us, like ground. I'm, I'm expecting a lot of ground type. Because, you know, the game hates me. And it's like, oh, you got a, you got an ice dragon? <laughs> How about earthquake, bitch? And I'm like, no. No. Don't earthquake me. Stop. I can't handle it. <laughs> Ooh, dance party. What do you think? Surprised, right? This gym is speaking, frankly, a glittering fashion show and a dazzling stage. Well, for now, I'll give you this. Got that fresh water? Stay hydrated, yo. In this Pokemon gym, we'll have you proceed by defeating the trainers waiting on the catwalk. By the way, electric-type Pokemon don't do well against ground moves. Oh, but ground moves don't work against a Pokemon called Emolga, so please be careful. That's because he's got either flying-type or is also... Uh, has levitate. 
I forget if Humolga's flying electric or just electric with levitate. Welcome to the Nimbasa Gym, a stylish Pokemon battle and fashion show created by Pokemon and trainers in starting show. In starting show? Oh, it's starting now. I thought it's a starting show. You guys, uh, I'm doing this like right after I wake up, so my brain challenged by schoolgirl Landon. Damn, Landon, you looking good. <laughs> Tortuga, you say? Huh, rock water. In the water, ha ha. Well, you know what happens to rocks? You get a double kicked. Aqua Jet, why would you? Priority move using punk. Get out of here. I hope you get double kicked into oblivion. Get Dublave kicked. Ooh. I mean, we could probably use. Uh, let's see. You know. Houseplant for this, but we're just gonna keep double kicking. Because one crit's all it takes. Used Crunch. I hope you get Poison. No, Poison. Madam, come on. You are like the most toxic thing I know in my life right now. Come on. You gotta you gotta toxic these fools. Madam gained 512 Expedience. Spending Cranidose. That is rock or ground. Not a good matchup. We could throw in Mirror Pearson. Uh, probably Mer Person would be better because Mister would probably not do well because Cranidos probably has a good defense stat. So let's throw in Mer Person. Uncle Vanny probably not a good, not a good, not a good bopper for this one. Let's honest. Let's be honest. I told you, didn't I? It's gonna be like rock or ground or something. It's gonna be like danger esque for Uncle Vanny. Like Uncle Vanny can't take this. Cranidos. Oh, it's this one. It's not Rampardos. Okay. I thought it was Rampardos. So, Water Gun should be fine, I'm assuming. Yeah, Water Gun's more than tight. Because we also have that Splash Plate, too. So, Splash Splash. Can't wait till we get Surf. Oh my god, Surf is going to be so good on Madam, or er, on Mr. and Mirror Person. It's going to be great. It's going to be so good. <laughs> Apologize for the li little snifflies. I don't know what's got into me this morning. I'm not sick, it's just like, I haven't cleared it all out from the morning yet, you know? We're going to, ooh. Ah, ooh, ah, dance to the music. Cadence of Hyrule. Uh, ah, uh, ah. If you haven't played Cadence of Hyrule, it's amazing. Uh, it's, it's a rhythm Zelda game, and I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Are you beautiful as a trainer? Surprise me. I'm, I'm gonna surprise you, schoolgirl Bobby. I'm calling it now. Schoolgirl Marshall? Oh, come on, man. With those high heels? Damn it, Marshall. Why you gotta bop me like that? Dogs? Why are you bringing dogs in here, son? If you got some real dogs, I feel bad for you, son. Oh, um, and Madam didn't get healed up. Damn it. Oh, because these things know, like, takedown, and they got some pretty good attack stat, too. Dang it. But we do have a pretty high defense stat, because we're holding Eviolite. So... Uh, we could risk the biscuit, or we could just heal. Yeah, let's just heal. Because I forgot to heal between fights, because I'm a... Durf. There we go. And this will suss out kind of what this Pokemon's got here. Use takedown. Yeah, see, it's got takedown. Ooh, not that much. Okay, good. So we should be fine. Hey, hey, no, no bag. What are you doing? No bag. Double kick. Come on, madam. Kick this puppy. But not really, because I've been seeing some terrible crap going down on the internet recently about people abusing dogs. Don't do it. Stop. Don't like, hurt your puppies, okay? It's not right. You people have to stop doing stupid shit with your animals. Like, I saw this thing. I stopped it after, like, five seconds. Because I just... I wanted to knee this lady in the face so hard. That's right. I said knee in the face. That's that's a deadly attack. That's, that's, that's a bopper of a hit. She put her dog in the dryer... Like, the clothes dryer? And then she turned the dryer on. And I'm sitting there like, Lady, are, are you going ready to go to jail? I hope you go to jail. I hope you get kneed in the face in prison because you're a stupid asshole. And yeah, don't do it. I'm calling... If you put a dog in a, in a dryer, you are an asshole. <laughs> Not even un, just a. You are an asshole. <laughs> just don't, don't do it. If you do, don't. 
Just if you do, don't. That's just my whole life right now. Just don't. I can't believe somebody would do something like that. Like, how stupid would you have to be? And she's sitting there laughing like, Haha, y'all, he love it. He going back in. And it's like, no, he don't love it. I'm sorry, the animal does not love that. I mean, a human could love it because they have this weird capacity for, like, mixing stuff up in their brain and having experiences differ. But animals probably don't. Their brains probably don't have the capacity for that kind of thought. So, no. And you know what else animals don't have a capacity for? That kind of thought. Putting him in the dryer. <laughs> That's right. If you put your dog in the dryer, you a thought. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going full on. I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have all the freshest of takes when it comes to people putting animals in their damn dryer, okay? I have no tolerance for it. Y'all should get slapped and then kneed in the face. Repeatedly. And then put in a dryer to help dry the blood off your face. Oh, look at that double spin. The show is coming to its finale. Now, I'll see if you are worthy to stand on the same stage as Elisa. I mean, I'm sorry I haven't been commentating on the game, you guys. It's just one... It, it sh hurt me to the core. Schoolgirl Jasmine. Nice. It hurt me to the core that I would see somebody do something so ignorant and so... Like, potentially lethal. Like, the dryer tumbles, and it's got, like, pegs in the dryer to keep the, the stuff inside tumbling. So, like, easily the dog could fall, its neck could hit on one of those tumblers as it's lifting in the opposite direction, and its neck could break. Like, super easy. It's leg to break. Just, ah! Ah, these people! Why do people have to do dumb crap like this? Like, I understand doing dumb stuff in terms of, like... You know, you don't understand social situations, so you say dumb things. Saying dumb stuff is perfectly fine, because it's only words. It doesn't hurt people, all right? It literally doesn't. If people's feelings get hurt, oh no, they should also grow up and also know that their feelings will mend. Like, feelings are easy, right? If you say something bad, feelings are going to get, you know, repaired eventually. But, like, putting things in a dryer and breaking their neck, you can't heal that, all right? <laughs> That's called death. Polywirl, what up? Uh, switch Pokemon to Houseplant. Houseplant. Oh yeah, good job, madam. You got lifted up. Like, seriously, it's the whole sticks and stones may break my bones, but words shouldn't ever hurt me. Yeah, and guess what sticks and stones are also equated to? A goddamn house clothes dryer, okay? <laughs> just, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's been like a five minute rant on dumb asses. I just, ugh. It hurts me to my core. And here we go, we're gonna pedal dance this thing into oblivion, it's gonna be great. Why are you double slapping me? Stop it. Stop it. Stop. I love it, it's beautiful. Pedal dance and Oko. That's right, Houseplant may not be super strong. It's actually got a really good special attack stat, you guys. I looked at it, it's got like a 75 attack stat. Which is pretty decent. Like, especially with that pedal dance, that 180 pedal dance with 75 special attack. Ooh, baby. It's good. Oh, we can now go to Alessa. Oh, yeah, it's this girl. I remember her. <gasps> Madam, did you just strike a pose at me? Damn, girl. Damn. Okay, you know what? Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta go heal up my Pokemon. I gotta go to the Pokemon Center, all right? Hold on. I'll be back for you, girl. You just hold right there. I'm gonna come back. I just have to go get a pen and paper so I can write down my phone number and give it to you, okay? <laughs> I wonder what her name's gonna be. It's probably gonna be like... It's probably gonna be like Accountant Winston or something. <laughs> Office Man Winston. And it's gonna be like, oh, uh, oh. I thought this was gonna be like Hot Lady Elisa. No. It's Trash Worker Gerald. <laughs> I love the goofy names, you guys. I love I loved randomizing the names. That was good. That was great. And I'm not sure if I explained it, but. I, uh, because I know you guys were like, yeah, go ahead, evolve Feebas into, into Milotic. And so I found a way how I just opened up the randomizer again and selected the thing that I thought I'd selected in the first place, which was, uh, having the, like, blocked off evolutions, like, taken off. And then I just rechecked that. I repacked the game. And then I just went ahead and, uh... Like, repacked it, and when I came in and I leveled up Feebass once, he, ev he evolved. So, yeah, that's just how it was. It was super easy. 
What up, Alyssa? Yo, can I talk to your cronies? Yo, what up? Isn't this gym beautiful when it's lit up? The Pokemon also look beautiful when it's lighting. Miss Alyssa is strong and beautiful. Don't make the mistake of thinking she's the same as us. Well, of course not. You're blondes. She's got black hair and cool glasses, by the way. Being able to see a match between a challenger and Alyssa this close, that makes even us gleam with joy? Okay. Welcome to the main stage. My beloved Pokemon and your Pokemon shall compete. We're going to see whose star shines brightest. My star girl. Don't even at me, Florentino. <laughs> Don't even at me, Florentino. Bug catcher Florentino. I love it. I love it. Bug catcher Florentino. Oh, it's wonderful. Is that a shiny? No, that's not a shiny Stantler, because it would have had stars on it, right? Okay, uh, for a second I thought that was a, sh a shiny Stantler. And I was going to be super upset. So, I guess we could just try Zen Headbutt, or we could just keep doing Rollout. Body Slam might work too. Let's see, Zen Headbutt is a not 80 attack power, but Body Slam is like 85 and is stabbed too. So let's just Body Slam this thing. <laughs> it's Cow versus Deer. Good, use Calm Mind, because I'm going to calm your mind by smashing you so hard. You and your Pokemon's moves are simply dazzling. Yeah, that's because it's Pam. Named after Pam Poovy from Archer. Yeah, get paralyzed, you punk. Oh, it didn't do anything. Ouch. Okay. Probably gonna use, They're probably going to use a, uh, a healing item, so I should probably heal with Milk Drink. Yup, 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 called it! Yeah! Skibbity bob. Dip! So I can't use milk drink on myself outside of combat, but inside of combat I can drink my own milk? Alright, you know what, that's, uh... I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Why, why can I drink it in- Oh! <gasps> Critical hit! Pam's doing her job! Big and buff and beautiful. Just like her namesake. Alright, what's up? But Catcher Florentino is about to send in Raichu. Uh, who do we got that will resist Raichu? Let's see. No, no. Possibly, if that was Nido King, it definitely would. Uh, Uncle Vinny. Possibly, yes. But Houseplant would probably be our best matchup, though. Be well, I don't think Grass actually resists Electric, though. It's just not super effective against it. So our best bet might be Uncle Vanny. Let's see here now, because it would be... What's good against electric? There's ground. Is rock also good against electric? No. Uh, mm, mm, bop. I know Uncle Vanny is... Let's just go to summary here, because I know it's uh, dragon ice, so dragon resists electric. Because I think dragon resists, like, what is it? Fire, water, and, like, electric or something? It's like fire, water, grass, and electric. I forget what dragon resists, but it basically resists all the basic stuff. Dragon Breath, Ice Beam, Ancient Power. We could try Uncle Vanny, because I don't think that Ice is good against, or Electric is good against Ice, so we'll try it. What up? It's my boy. He's my big old boy. Get pressured. See, I told you, level 30 is the is, would be the gym. So we could do Ice Beam or Dragon Breath. I think Ice Beam is higher stab than Dragon Breath is. Yeah, for sure, Zs. And they're both special attack. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think Ancient Power would... We can always just suss out with Ancient Power, too. We always just try it and see if Rock is getting its electric. But I would rather just go Ice Beam. Hope for that Oko, you know? Because it's so powerful. <gasps> not... Not... Well, Oko, but definitely two shots. Using Citrus Berry. Use Thunderbolt. Please don't be super effective. Please. Please. Yeah, it's not very effective. Okay, good. But it was a critical hit, though. Not that it matters to us, because... The beam of ice kills the Raichu in a never-ending bloody battle. And we got a full level off that because of that lucky egg. Oh, so good. It's so tasty and so clean. Look at that. Attack stat 88, special attack 95. This guy is a bopper. This guy is... Ooh. Uncle Vanny's my boy. Skip Loom. Would you like to switch a Pokemon? No. Uncle Vanny gonna bob this guy real hard. Skip Loom's gonna be like, I am cute. I've got to overcome this situation. I can't let my fans down. 
and I'm just gonna be like, guess what? Your fans gonna cry because ice beam out of the mouth. It's super effective, and Uncle Vanny gained like half, well, a third of a level. Player defeated Bugcatcher Florentino. You shocked me through and through. You melted my heart. Usagi got 3600 for winning. I like the monies. Thank you, lady. I appreciate it. Well, now you. You're an even more wonderful trainer than I expected. Oh, look at Usagi. She's cute on the back there. She's like, I did it. I beat the trainer. I'm going to get the badge. Your sweet fighting style swept me off my feet. Take this. Oh, it's the... What is it? Spark badge? Jolt badge? Bumble badge? Either way, it should be on screen. Beautiful. Oh, it should be on screen so bad. Wham! On screen. Baby. My cheese. I love it. Usagi received the Bolt Badge from Elisa. If you have four badges, including this Bolt Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including trading Pokemon, will obey you. Also, here's this move I like. Feel free to use it, um, if you want to. Why would you say- you so confident and you just get up into like, um? Ooh, y'all, we got mirror move. Uh. Volt Switch lets Pokemon switch in with a different Pokemon. Yeah, that's not Volt Switch, so I'm not even gonna listen to you. So, peace out. Bye! I'm Audi. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I was gonna say, oh, wait, I'm gonna do a little twirl, but then she caught up. Wait, please walk with us. Usagi, so cool, stunning. Uh, uh, ooh, uh, do a little twirl, come on, do the twirl, twirl, what? Uh, a shiny example of a trainer. Since that's what you are, you should be able to collect all the gym badges and reach the Pokemon League. Then you and your Pokemon will shine even brighter. What up, thanks, girl. I appreciate your words of kindness. And also the experience in which I gained from defeating your Pokemon. Ugh. I can't believe just a few episodes ago we had a trash team. And now our team is moderate at best. <laughs> our team is so adequate. I love it. We really need like a fire or an electric. We need something else in here to help cover our ground. We need a moonstone so we can get a ground type Pokemon to also help cover our ground. Oh, it's just how how it goes, y'all. Some days in the in the Nuzlocks, and the, especially the randomizer ones. And you know what that means? It's saving near like that 30 minute mark. So y'all know what it is. Thank you all for joining me on this episode of Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke here on the channel, where we got the Bolt Badge. You know, it should be represented on the HUD. We should be feeling good, and hopefully we'll be able to go to the next city. Hopefully, what is it, the Driftvale city, I think? So we can get to that PWT where all the move trainers are, because I need to get some of these moves off my guys, man. They're, they're hindering me so bad. I'm getting the itches, you know? <laughs> but thank you all for joining me on this episode, and until next time, take care, everybody.